Hey there, so modern cars basically, they all try to trap carbon and process it as it leaves the car in an effort to reduce emissions. And what we've seen on some diesel ones is sometimes they need to do a little bit more free flowing and sometimes even motorway driving to uh, keep those filters clear. Uh, so this video here, this will show you how to, on a Tucson like this one, it'll show you how to clear your diesel particulate filter if that light comes on. Um, and it's part of owning the car now. This is something that you have to manage. Uh, manage. So if you're doing loads of st uh, short stop start driving, um, you need to probably get out and allow some exhaust flow, allow the exhaust to get warm and clear the carbon out of the particulate filter. So that one will show you basically how the, to do it on your new diesel one. Um, I have also now seen a couple of them where it needs to be done on the petrol. So the petrol have a gasoline particulate filter. So this is a petrol hybrid. Uh, we're going to drive it. So the gasoline particulate filter, again, will trap soot. So just like the diesel particulate filter, it will get to a level where there's too much soot in it and then it actually needs the opportunity to clear itself out. Okay, so the previous video basically on that I've referred to for the diesel, uh, what happens is the light comes on, which looks like this, and it was actually on on this car, but now it's gone because we've cleared it. It's a shame, I just forgot to video it at the time. But the symbol that looks like that will be located up here, and it'll be consistent. So it won't be flashing, it'll be constantly staying on. So if that happens basically is telling in this case that the gasoline particulate filter is completely full of soot and you now need to give the car the opportunity to oxidize the soot that's built up in that particulate filter. For anyone that's just wondering why the light is coming on, the main reason is your driving style just hasn't allowed the car the opportunity to clear out the particulate filter. And it's not a problem. All you need to do is just manage the situation. On the diesel one, when the light is on consistently, what you're meant to do is get to over 60 kilometers per hour. You're meant to drive for 25 minutes and you're meant to keep the engine revolutions between 1,500 and 2,500 RPM until the light basically extinguishes on the dash. And to be fair, one point to note on that, you'll see in the other video, uh, the last time I did this, it took seven minutes. So while the manufacturer says do 25, that's like just a big estimate, but it'll probably be 10, 15 minutes, something like that. The petrol's a bit different. Or what do I mean actually? Just the criteria are a bit different. So basically on a petrol, three criteria. So a manual petrol, over 80 kilometers an hour, up to half an hour, and you got to keep your engine revolutions between 2,500 and 4,000 RPM consistently during that period. So just to recap, the light comes on on a petrol manual. You need to get to somewhere like a motorway. This is going to be impossible to do on something like a back road where you're going to get interrupted and you're going up and down through gears. So the light comes on, stays consistent, get your speed up to at least 80 kilometers per hour. You mean you can do 90, you can do 100, you can do 120, but at least 80 kilometers per hour. And then for possibly up to 30 minutes, keep your engine revolutions between 2,500 RPM up as far as 4,000 RPM. So if that means, you know, if you're doing 90 kilometers an hour, you might need to stay in fourth gear or something like that. Uh, you'll, you'll make sense to you when you're, when you're at that speed. 80 kilometers an hour, minimum RPMs, 2,500, maximum RPMs, 4,000 RPM. Keep it in that range for up to 30 minutes and the light should then extinguish. In a perfect world, um, this is in your manual, by the way. So if you want to read about it in the manual, it comes under exhaust system, GPF, exhaust system, GPF, warning light. Um, what it says in the um, manual is basically 80, over 80 kilometers an hour, about 30 minutes. And it also says, um, stay in third gear with the engine revolutions between 2,500 and 4,000 RPM. That's in a perfect world. Uh, I think you mightn't have to stay in third gear, but officially, uh, third gear with your engine revolutions between 2,500 and 4,000 RPM in a manual. Okay, if you're driving the automatic, it's a little bit trickier. You might, you might need to watch this once or twice to get it straight in your head. So first thing, the light comes on, the, the GPF light comes on as a warning. Move down to the drive mode button, pull it backwards, and you move into a sport mode. The sport mode now reveals a tachometer, which tells you the engine revolutions on the vehicle, which you don't get normally when you're using the eco cluster. So let's call that step one. The second thing, familiarize yourself with these paddles. So this here is a paddle that goes up the gears. So in other words, it goes from fourth gear, down to third gear, down to second gear. So you can see you press it and the engine revolutions change. The one on the right hand side goes up. So that goes from second gear to third gear to fourth gear as you press it. Okay, so from the top, we see the warning come on. The first thing we do is we go into sport. We now have the engine revolutions we see on the right hand side. Uh, I'm gonna press the paddle here just to go back down the gears and start to manipulate. The first thing is, are we at the right speed? Yes, we are. We're over 80 kilometers per hour, that's good. Um, in terms of the engine revolutions, are we at the right engine revolutions? Well, yes, we're over two and a half thousand RPM, so that's good. Hmm, I think we're a bit too close to two and a half thousand RPM, so I'm gonna drop down a gear into fourth 
and now we see we're going into fourth and now my engine revolutions have gone a little bit higher okay the next part is the part i think you have to get your head around so what we're going to have to do is drive up to 4000 rpm let off for five seconds and then keep driving back up to, i'll show you what i mean okay so we're driving along we're doing at about three and a half thousand rpm we want to get the car up to four thousand then we stop let off the accelerator for one two three four five seconds now let's accelerate again up to 4000 rpm so up 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 get to 4000 rpm once we get there stop accelerating foot off the pedal and then one two three four five and now we can start accelerating again get back up to 4000 rpm back up to 4000 rpm and then we're going to stop at that let the accelerator off again one two so we're only coasting three four five grand we're going to get back up to 4000 rpm again so continue and accelerate up to 4000 rpm and again release and we keep doing that motion so staying in the same gear up to 4000 rpm let off for five seconds where it slows down and then accelerate back up to 4000 rpm let off let it slow down for five seconds and then accelerate back up to 4000 rpm again in that constant motion and yes unfortunately for up to 30 minutes it may be necessary it probably won't take that long and that is how you get the oxidization to occur of the soot that's uh, built up in your gasoline particulate filter and eventually that clears and once the light goes off you're now fully operational again and that means now it's business as usual again so you can go back you don't have to stay in sport mode you can come out of sport mode so you can go back down put it back into eco and to now have automatic gears just press the d button and now the gears will take over and start changing themselves automatically again okay so hopefully that uh, has now helped you and you've cleared it on your manual uh, petrol or you're cleared on your automatic petrol the only thing after that is, say for example, if you were in a situation where you've got a flashing light. Anyway, if that's the case, unfortunately you've got to go visit the dealer and that's what happened in this case. Uh, the owner wasn't aware of how it worked. I actually never explained it to her, so it's my fault. And um, when the car asked her to do it, she probably didn't realize she had to go out to the road and clear it out. And it got to a point then where it was no longer able to do it by driving. It was too full, the gasoline particulate filter, and it started flashing and we spoke to her and we had to manually do it ourselves at the garage. So if it's flashing, don't even bother trying, go straight to your dealer. Um, but if it's constant, you can do it using the methods in this video. Anyway, hopefully that will help and thanks a million for watching.